Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so here is the updated solution for this lab and I request you please watch the video carefully because this lab is little bit tricky and I am going to explain each and every task in detail. So first of all just simply log in your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here and just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one and from here just simply copy your first command copy like this come back over here click on this got it now just run the first command over here and hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now again come back over here then copy your second command copy like this come back over here wait for a second and now just run the second command over here now what you do now you have to just simply search for the document here open this thing new tab and just me come back over here wait for a second and here you can see workbench just me click over here now here you can see custom extra extra then click on this create processor over here and now for the processor name just me come back to the live instructions and if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number one you will get a score without any issue now from the task number two and point number four as you can see this name so just me copy this name carefully and make sure that while copying a name do not copy any extra space otherwise you might face unnecessary error so just me copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here like this way now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see now for now they have mentioned any region over here so you can just simply continue with the us region in future if you are able to find a different region over here then you can just simply change accordingly that otherwise you can just simply click on this create button now just simply wait and as you can see it's created now if you just simply scroll down over here and from here you can see database it's loading so just simply wait until this progress get complete it is going to take at least two to five minutes so just simply wait for that
and it's finally done now if we just click come back to the live instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number two you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three what we do we have to create this schema and i request to please watch the video carefully because i know most of you guys are going to make a mistake over here so i request to please watch the video very carefully so first of all what you do you have to just me come back over here and click on this get started over here now just me click on this create new fields just me click over here now for the field name what you do for the first name what you do we have to just simply choose occurrence as a optional multiple and for the remaining one it must be required multiple and if we just simply check over here and from the point number four you can see for this point of four the data type is added so i request to please watch the video very carefully first of all just me copy this name make sure that you do not copy any extra space while copying a name so just me copy like this come back over here paste the name and for the data type it must be number because it mentioned on the lab instruction page now for the occurrence as i said for the first label it must be optional multiple and then click on this create so we are done with the first label now copy the second name come back over here and then click on this create just paste the name and for the data type it must be number and for the second one the occurrence must be required multiple like this way and then click on this create now again come back over here then copy this name come back over here click on this create paste the name and for the data type it must be number and then for the occurrence it must be required multiple like this way and then click on this create over here like this now again come back over here now for this label just me copy this name and for the data type it must be address now just me click on this create paste the name over here and for the data type it must be address just me paste the name and then for the occurrence it must be required multiples and then click on this create now for the remaining labels what we have to choose as a data type it must be money so just me copy this name come back over here click on this create paste the name and for the data type it must be money and for the occurrence it must be required multiples and then click on this create now again come back over here copy this name come back over here click on this create paste the name for the data type it must be money and for the occurrence it must be required multiples and then click on this create now again come back over here copy this name come back over here paste the name and for the data type it must be money and for the occurrence it must be required multiples like this way and then click on this create now again come back over here scroll down then copy this name come back over here click on this create paste the name for the data type it must be money like this way and for the occurrence it must be required multiples and then click on this create so we have done with all this schema now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without an issue and one more thing guys if you waited for at least more than five minutes and if you still not able to get a score on the task number three you have to just simply come back over here you have to just simply check this schema with this and make sure that both the schema must be same if not then you have to just simply edit that particular schema accordingly that from here you can just simply disable delete or edit okay just simply make sure of that thing now once you're done with the task number three now task number four is very easy basically what you do you have to just simply copy this link copy like this come back over here now here you can see upload sample document so just simply click over here and from here what you have to do you have to just simply choose import document from the google cloud storage just make choose that and just simply paste the name which is just copy from here this path just simply paste and once you get a green tick over here then click on this import so you are done with the task number four now for the task number five what you do come back over here just simply wait for to this document get analyzed and it's done just simply wait And once you are able to click on this mark as label, just simply click over here. Make sure that you have to click on this mark as label. And once you're done with that, now just me click on this build over here, like this way. And now what you do, you here you can see for now we are not able to click on this create new version. The reason is behind that if you just simply check the this gray line, what they mention more documents needed. So now what you do. First of all, what you do, we have to create a new version. So just simply click on this create new version over here. And for the version name, what you do, come back to the lab instructions and we are done with the task number five. So just simply scroll down and from the task number six, just simply scroll down and from the point number three, you can see this name. So just simply copy this name for your version. So just simply copy like this, come back over here and paste the name over here like this way and then click on this create so you have done with the task number six as well now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch and if you are not able to get a score on the first attempt no need to worry lab will update the score immediately now for the task number seven what you do copy this link 
or you can say path copy like this come back over here now here you can see import document just simply click over here and from here what you do you have to just simply choose import from the google cloud storage make sure that you must choose this and now for the paste the path over here and as you can see data split just simply click over here and from here just simply choose the auto split over here now for the first time or you can say from the point number start number seven you can see from the point number five it mentioned and from the point number six it mentioned like we have to choose the import with the auto labeling so basically what you do click on this checkbox and from here just simply choose the updated version over here and then click on this import and that's thing you have to do for the first time now just simply wait until this data get import And it's done now what you do just simply click on the start labeling over here like this way wait for a second now and then click on this mark as label make sure that you have to click on this mark as label and once you click on this mark as label you can just simply multiply click on this mark as label and once you're done with that click on this back arrow over here now what you do come back to the live instructions and you are done with the task number seven now from the task number eight what you do just simply copy this thing carefully copy like this come back over here and again click on this import document over here and just paste over here like this way and make sure that the import method must be google cloud storage and for the second time we don't have to click on the checkbox for the import labeling okay as a data split it must be auto split and the, don't click on this checkbox make sure that you have to just simply click on this import for the task number eight now just simply wait until this progress get complete and once it gets complete then you are able to click on this create new version now just simply wait and watch And it's finally done now just simply click on this cross and here you can see create new version visible now just simply click over here and now for the version name come back to the lab instructions and from the task number nine you can see from the point number two just simply copy this name carefully you do not copy this last full stop just simply copy like this come back over here paste the name over here like this way and just simply make sure that the model method must be model based and then click on this start training over here like this way now just simply wait and if you just simply click on this deploy and use over here and from here you can see it's training now if we just simply come back to the live instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number nine you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a green tick on the task number nine no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this live without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see it's done and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys